Jeff and Danny's. Bitch, what game are you playing? Nothing. Do you guys realize how fucking weird you look right now? No, I thought we looked normal. Alright, well. I'm not, I'm never one to judge. But, uh, I'm not comfortable right now, so. Just gonna We made a uh a new game game grumps vid video. He doesn't care. It is a picture. It's disgusting. The hardest thing for a writer to do is write by Nick Alty. Write a quote by Nick Alty. Is it not human? Hey. Oh, yeah. Did you, say, did you actually say that? Yeah. Uh, in the video, Evan liked uh, Nick Alty's naked in the woods, and he's like, Talking about some writing competition, I believe. Who's, who's Nick Alty? Pilot, go ahead and tell him who Nick Alty is. I thought, he thought it was emo. It is emo! He has, he's uploaded videos? He only has two. Oh, he's whoa! Two. He only has two. I am competing for Writer's Arena for the 14th. He's just naked in the woods. I don't. And I'm really excited about it. Never heard of anything like just a head-to-head write-off, I guess, where people vote on it and you get judges. Now, judges, good judges that you've heard of and have done things that you've heard of. So, I'm looking forward to seeing if I'm up to snuff, if I can stand as a good writer. I'm really excited to see if that's possible. I'm looking to see, I'm excited to just bust this out and I think you get two days to write it, whatever they want you to write about, that's where you go with. I think that's where really some of the best writing comes from. Don't overthink it. You really don't think it all. You just have to get things down and work with it. Just put on whatever's on your mind. I think that's the best way to do it. I mean, I always overthink things and eventually writing at least don't get anything. But so I guess just a little intro to myself is 19 uh, from Michigan at Grand Mere right now. Get the opportunity to come here, do it. Go a little deeper into the woods, past the hills and whatnot. It's really pretty. No one really goes out here ever. I don't know why. But yeah. And uh, currently a student studying something in English. I'm not sure if I want to go with like, literature, creative writing, but just something involving that. But, so yeah, I just, hobbies are pretty much coming out here, hiking. I like reading, obviously. Uh, I brought today Last Days of Socrates by Plato. And this little three tales of horror thing that I got for a quarter, which is awesome. It has uh, Hot Frog by Edgar Allan Poe, Ambrose Bierce's The Forty Window, something by Robert Louis Stevenson, The Body Snatcher. So, yeah, this is a good way to spend a day. Um, as far as writing goes, I've, I only started writing when I was eight. Is this why he doesn't hang out with us? And Skype so, anymore, so I can go in the woods and it's the nude. I took creative writing class. I, I don't know. Make some, make some, make some, like as far as high school standards. Video. So, I know I can use a game. You know, it's, it's, I, I, I think it's like an introduction for some writing competition. Uh, I don't know. I, I, she's known me for a while, just through school, and she was like, I think, wouldn't you rather be. So we like a whole sandwich left. Riding like by a river in a van. Or would you be happier doing that or 
being rich and okay, having a stable job and doing what your parents want you to do, which is not writing. Cause I don't know. I think I'm doing stuff later. So yeah, I'm pretty new at writing as far as publication goes. I've had like some poems published in just minor mag magazines, uh, the Larcenist, some anthology, uh, either in line. I've only had one short story published. I think it was published, but I don't like the company that went under right as they were publishing it or about to so. so maybe that counts but i feel like this is a pretty good step for me to go forward in writing and i'm just excited to just bust one of these stories out real quick try and get it <laughs> <Do they, laughs> i've been that? slacking my that writing thing? lately i just haven't been doing it i think the hardest thing for a writer is to actually write at least for me that's what i'm finding but I'm excited for this. Also, while it's on my mind, from the 10th challenge, I forgot who wrote it, but there was one called Blue Swan in the writer's arena, and that was a really good story. I would recommend that. It reminded me of the Twilight Zone, so sort of. It was really good, so read that. And uh, I don't know, I'm just looking forward to finding out what my topic is, I guess. And I'm just gonna try and spend all day, both days, just. Get something as good as I can. Being naked in the woods. I was eager oh, yeah. for feedback and just, yeah, seeing where I stand as compared to people who are more established than I am in the writing community. Because this is really my first uh, big thing for me. It's a bigger thing. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, my competitor shows mercy, maybe. That'd be cool. But either way, it'll be fun. And uh, as soon as I get the topic and I start going a little, I'll probably post another just progression video or something. And just tell you how it's going. Just stay in touch. All right. Thank you guys. Keep supporting the writers of the because I'm really digging what they're doing. All right. See you later. <laughs> Hell yeah, add a boy. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see what he's been posting on Twitter. I like his tweets. Mental thing. His name his name really good. Love hip hop. Hop is the best show I've ever seen. Wow, lame. If you ask somebody if they're a cop and they don't shoot and kill you, they're not a cop. Spontaneous fun keeps me free. Nick Alti is one of the wisest exquisitely odd intellectual beings I've come to know better on here. I appreciate him. Hashtag you have supposer. Hey, Pilot, can you hurry up with the sandwich so I can finish recording in OBS? Are you what? slow? You just ruined your video now. I, you just broke the fourth wall. <laughs>